Hello Darts Nuts, I'm just going to review a set of Unicorn Kevin Painter Maestro Premier Darts. These are a 90% tungsten dart. Uh, this is a 22 gram and they come in the usual cardboard Unicorn box and I should have a yeah, the luxury MIDI wallet inside. So we'll have a look inside the wallet. I did a little review of the wallet when I reviewed the Unicorn James Wade darts. So let's have a look what you get inside the wallet. You've got your Kevin Painter signature flights. Uh, and a pear shape as you can see. And obviously you've got your three barrels and they're fitted with Alloy shafts, They're medium shafts by the looks of it, and you've got your little weight guarantee certificate, and uh, that says 22.1 grams. Alright, let's have a close look at the barrels. As you can see, it's fitted with a silver point. There's kind of a, a bit like a bull nose front and if you look at the front it's got a single thin ring right at the front and obviously the bulk of the barrel is made up of these wider rings with the grooves in between and then at the very rear you've got a, another thin groove which is painted blue and the rear of the barrel is smooth with the Unicorn logo and the Kevin Painter signature. Uh, you can get these darts in 20 grams, 22 and 24 gram and the retail price is 31.99. Comes supplied with these medium alloy shafts which are pre-fitted with a rubber o-ring which are always handy when you're using alley shafts, keeps them nice and tight. And then you've got your Kevin Painter signature flights. Um, I'm not sure what the micron is these, it might be 100, they feel quite stiff. So there you go, I'll just let you have a look at the dart. It's quite a classic straight barrel dart. Um, I'd say the grip is only a medium level of grip. Obviously it's just a, a ring grip. The tungsten itself has a kind of a, a nice feel to it though. But uh, it's only like a, a low medium that grip level. Quite like that nose though, it feel comfy there to rest your finger on. Right, I'll put a detail close up now with all the measurements. Right, here's the detailed look at the Unicorn Kevin Painter 22 gram darts. It's got a silver point of 29 millimeters. There's a slightly tapered nose of 4.2 millimeters. That's including the little thin ring. And then the bulk of the barrel is made of this wider ring grip and that's 31.2 millimeters with a little thin groove at the end that's painted blue and the rear of the barrel is smooth about 13.6 millimeters long the overall length is 48.9 millimeters and the width is 6.4 millimeters right I'll just give the barrels a quick measure They don't look especially long. Yeah, I thought so. 48. Uh, 40. 48.97, so it's pretty close to 49 millimeters. Just, just make sure this is right. It looks about the. Uh, 
kind of length that I usually prefer just to maybe a touch longer I usually prefer 48 I'd call that definitely a 49 mil barrel it's 6.42 yep, 6.42 millimeters wide See how much is drilled out on the back. Just about normal. It looks fairly deep actually. It's uh, I'd say that was over 10 mil that like. Alright, we'll just weigh the barrels. That one weighs 22.15 That is 22.16 so that's pretty close mm, That one is 22.27 just measure it again Yep, 22.27, so that's a little bit different than the others. Uh, the full setup is 24.84 grams. Let's see if I can find the balance point of the barrel. It should be pretty close to the middle. But I suspect it might be just a slightly bit in front of centre. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely front of centre. I think it's because it's drilled out just a touch more than what you, you would class as normal. Just moving it about just to see whether it's right. Yeah. So it's just front of centre without the shaft and the flights. So let's see what happens when you put the these are quite a long medium like and also the uh, the tang the grooves are only short where the flight sits in so I think the flights tend to sit out further with these alloy shafts. So uh, more or less evens up towards the middle of the barrel with the flight and shaft fitted. Um, there's nothing really fancy about the dart, it's just a classic uh, straight barrel ring grip dart. Nothing wrong with that, nearly all players throw that kind of a, a barrel. So let's give my throw and see how they go. I'm just holding the darts at the front with my usual front grip. Um, on the first couple of throws I was getting a little bit of fishtailing that way but um, I don't normally use pear shaped flights so I normally just have standards so whether that's anything to do with it but I have got a dodgy shoulder at the moment as well so
Yeah, just as it's getting near the board, I'm kind of getting that motion, but it could be my release. But I think I'm going to change my uh, stems for the um, my nylon mediums and my standard flights just to see if that's any different. All right, I just put some nylon mediums and standard shape flights on. Fly a lot better with these, a lot uh, better through the air. Well, for me, that is. So the barrels are just a nice classic straight ring grip barrel. But uh, I do quite like that little thin pronounced ring at the front. It gives me something to push against when I'm letting go of the dirt. So my shoulder's in quite a bit of pain still when I'm throwing the darts. I'm going to stretch my arm out to throw it. It's quite painful. So I'm not getting my arm very straight at the moment. The darts are flying nice through the air, especially with my own setup. They are very nice and still. They were a bit fishtaily at first with the pairs on. Oh, well, there you go, it's the uh, Unicorn Cabin Painter 22 gram darts. It's quite a nice pleasant dart to throw if you like a basic ring style grip. Although the edges of the rings are kind of grippy but uh, I'd still say it's only a medium but I quite like that pronounced little ring at the front. It's a little bit edgier that little ring and it gives me something to push against. But um, overall it's a nice pleasant dart to throw but I did have to change the uh, stems because I think the alloy stems that it come with are just a touch longer than the nylon mediums that I have. Also they tend to make the flight sit up a little bit further and with the setup that it came with I was getting, just as it was getting near the board I was kind of getting a motion like that and there were mostly landing in the board like that but once I changed to my uh, nylons and 
standard flights they fly in a lot more stable through the air for me and it's quite a nice little dart so that's the end of the review thanks for watching